Okay, so today we're talking about how to solve the sides of a triangle or the angle of a triangle using what's called the law of cosines. So in any triangle, ABC, A squared, which is the length of this side, equals B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cosine of A. And remember, cosine is a trig function. So we're going to have to use our graphing calculator that has a cosine function on it. It looks like th it just it looks like this, and you're gonna put an answer in here, and you're gonna close a parenthesis when we're solving for that. B squared equals a squared plus c squared minus two ac cosine of b. C squared equals a squared plus b squared minus two ab cosine of c. So basically, the length of a side is equal to the sum of that side is equal to the sum of the other two sides minus 2 side 1 times side 2 cosine of the angle across from that side. I know it's kind of confusing but it's really actually pretty easy. So we're going to do some examples now. Okay, so we're trying to find out what x equals. So x squared is going to equal a squared plus b squared minus 2a times b cosine of the angle opposite the one we're talking opposite the side we're talking about so cosine of 75 x squared is equal to, and this is where we're going to ha have to start using the calculator. So 15 squared is 225, plus 11 squared is 121, minus 2, 15 times 11 is 165, and we're not going to plug in cosine yet. Okay. So 25, 225 plus 121 is 346 minus 2 times 165, 330 cosine of 75. Okay, so this is where we have to plug stuff into the calculator. So this is how it's going to look when you plug it into the calculator. You're going to plug 346 minus... 330 cosine of 75, just like this, except there'll be a parenthesis here, and you want to close that parenthesis too. So let's go ahead and type that into the calculator. 346 minus 330 cosine of 75, close the parentheses, and rounding to the um, second decimal place, we're going to get x squared is equal to 260.59. So now we want the length of x. So we're going to take the square root of it. And in your calculator, if you hit second square, the squared button, you'll get the square root. And then if you hit second answer, it'll plug that answer that you just got right back into it. So it's more exact. So then you you want to round at the very end. So you get about 16.14279. We're going to round that to 16.143. It's always good to round to the third decimal place. Okay, we're going to do one more example, except this time we're going to find what that angle is. So we're going to have to use some stuff called arc cosine. And arc cosine is just like the opposite of doing cosine. I'll show you what I mean in a minute. So we're trying to solve for x, so we have to take the side opposite x, 11 squared equals the two sides squared minus two side times side cosine of x. So we're going to get 121 equals 
5 squared is 25 plus 5 squared is 25 50 minus 2 times 5 is 10 times 5 is 50 cosine of x squared or no that should just be cosine of x so now what we're going to do is we're trying to solve for this so we're going to subtract 50 over and you'll get 71 is equal to negative 50 cosine of x we're going to divide the 50 over and we're just going to leave it as a fraction for now equals cosine of x okay so when we don't know the value of an angle we're going to use the inverse we're going to use an inverse function so in order to find out what x equals we say x is equal to cosine inverse of 71 over 50 so basically it's saying that this angle it, this side of the equation is basically just saying whose angle has a cosine of 51 over negative 50 so when we do this we're solving for the angle so when you type it into your calculator you're gonna hit second cosine and it when it when you do that this will pop up this is what it should look like look like and then you're gonna plug in 71 divided by negative 50 close the parentheses and and if you type that into a calculator you'll get about 63 degrees so that's all we're doing f with law of cosines but make sure you come back and watch the next video where we're going to talk about law of sines which is another way to solve problems about triangles